Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros, and I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at another mechanical keyboard, this time from our friends over at Rocat. This is their new flagship mechanical keyboard, the Sorora FX, an RGB backlit keyboard with TTC brown switches. Is this worth your money? Let's talk about that. The first thing I want to get out of the way with this keyboard is the price. It is not cheap like other keyboards we have checked out. It comes in at a price tag of $140, so yes, this is an expensive high-end mechanical keyboard. Keep that in mind throughout this review. I decided to use this keyboard as my daily driver for several weeks before doing the review so I could get a solid understanding of using it. The build quality is solid. You get a solid build yet light design that feels really like its price range. The keycaps are solid, not the best, but solid. They do have the issue of what I like to call Cheeto finger buildup where the oils from your fingers start to add a bit of glow to the keycaps. This is a common issue with most mechanical keyboards, not just Rocat, it's just something I wanted to point out. One issue I have with a ton of high-end mechanical keyboards, however, and this can turn into sort of a rant, is the lack of a removable cable. Having one allows you to do easier cleaning and maintenance of your board, also removing a point of failure for the keyboard. I hope one day one of these bigger brands out there makes the jump and just uses a removable cable to make it the standard. The layout of the board is solid, no real cardinal sins when it comes to where the keys are located. I like using a full size keyboard again after using the Ajaz RGB 60% board for a while, which I do still have a mod video coming very soon, I know I've put it off for a while, but when it does, it, you will see it on this channel. But overall, with this keyboard, the build quality, well, fits the price of the product. Now one complaint I do have is with the key switches. For $140, I would think that you could go with Cherry MX Genuine switches to fit on this board. But yet again, there are other high-end boards like Razer who use their own custom switches for whatever reason compared to Cherry MX. Nonetheless, I honestly enjoy these switches. This is my very first brown switch experience and honestly, it really has moved me over from blues. I love the feel and the sound it produces. It's not overly powerful like blues, but it does produce a very solid sound. Don't take my word for it. Here's a typing test. Now onto the lighting, the main feature of this keyboard, which can be changed from holding the function key and selecting the F1 through F4 keys to do basic lighting adjustments and lighting modes. If you want to do some more complex changes, like totally custom changes, you have to download the Rocat Swarm software, which is very solid from what I've been using. One issue is the lack of a color wheel for static keyboard color. That is something for a $140 keyboard, I would think you have access to a color wheel to do more tints and tones compared to just normal static colors. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and start the light show. We're gonna show off all the lighting modes and you all just tell me what you think.
So overall, what do I think of this keyboard? Well, let's just say I'm gonna be using it as my daily driver, but that does not mean I totally recommend it. For $140, you can get multiple boards with decent build quality and features like this. I believe for the price, the value isn't really there, but if you're willing to drop the money and pretty much money is not an issue for you, then I really wouldn't hesitate. This is a joy to use. Special thanks to Rocat for sending over the keyboard and also shout out to Nava Caps for sending over a couple of his artisan keycaps for this video. He makes really awesome products and I will leave a link to his Instagram down below if you're interested in any of them. They add a lot of character to your mechanical keyboard and I highly recommend them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you haven't already, follow us on Twitter for more behind the scene updates and news. If you really love this video and you aren't already, subscribe for more content from us. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.